Well, first of all, thank you to Congressman Huffman for putting this together today and, and having uh, the lieutenant governor here is, is, is really, really beneficial to all of us. I've got to go back to Washington. I know there are several specific things that I need to do there on banking and on tax policy and on the scheduling under the Controlled Substances Act. There isn't a plan. That's why we're here. And there needs to be a plan or I wouldn't be here. Uh, I get it. We've got to figure out a way of getting it done. The problem, the sheriff made the point, since 1996, we couldn't even figure out the damn medical thing. We're still debating it, and it's interesting. It's, you know, a year before, it's literally weeks before there's an initiative that's being drafted that now we have a chance, potentially, to have a medical bill. But I'll be, I won't hold your breath that that's going to get through this year. The biggest thing that I've been trying to do in Sacramento is to get my colleagues to engage on this issue, and it is really, really difficult. There's still a lot of people who just don't want to talk about it. And so we've been working on, a, on an environmental protection bill. I'm calling it the water, uh, Marijuana Watershed Protection Act, is AB 243. We were fortunate enough to get that out of appropriations yesterday. It'll move to the floor of the assembly this week for a vote and then move to the, to the Senate. Now, it's got a lot of work to do on it. But it's in, the important part about this is it's talking about the environmental challenges that we're facing. And, and potential solutions, and how do, we, how do we begin to create a framework around medical marijuana that we can then potentially transfer uh, when, when, when the vote for legalization actually occurs. So Southern Humboldt and Humboldt and the Emerald Triangle as a whole uh, has been wanting for decades to be able to have just a rational, non-hysterical discussion about cannabis as a legitimate policy issue. And after so many years of just absolute silence from the legislature, people refusing to talk about it, people not being able to envision that there's anything to talk about, whether you're for it or against it, whether it's good or bad, this year, finally, we're able to have that rational discussion about it. And uh, I think we're all just really hopeful that it's going to uh, result in, finally, a, a good, solid, statewide regulatory framework to deal with the impacts. I should have written more questions, because half an hour no. a long time. In AB 243, that's that really bad <laughs> Yeah, great. Thank, thank yeah, you. Okay. Thank you, Supervisor Love. Okay, I was hoping you'd be familiar with the legislation. <laughs>